Hey friends, it's Ashton with Gen Sense, and today we're going full on retro, full on 80s. We're going to be taking a look at one of the biggest, best releases from the best decade. You know what it is. It's King Koros from Yves Saint Laurent. Technically, this is not a vintage bottle, but that's not going to stop me. So let's go ahead and check this out and see why the 80s will always be number one. Let's check out this presentation really quickly. It's got kind of an old school vibe. They've touched up the bottle a little bit over the years, but it still retains the same basic shape. The atomizer is built into the top here, so you just press down on the YSL and boom. Now my room is going to smell like that for 10 hours. Um, it's a nice presentation. I like it. Simple, classic, old school. Koros was released in 1981, so it was released right at the beginning of the 80s. The opening of this is a lot of things. It's kind of weird. It's musky, it's damp, it's bright, it's soapy, it's a little bit dirty, it's a little animalic, and did I mention that it's very musky? It's definitely unique, and I imagine that when this came out, it blew people's minds, either negatively or positively, and it's still blowing people's minds. Uh, it doesn't come across as a straight up pee smell. Some people say that it's fecal or smells like urine. Uh, I don't necessarily get that, actually. It's a little more, like I said, like a weird, soapy, musky scent. But it is masculine. It's definitely masculine, and it's powerful. So don't wear this. If your favorite kind of scents are like Blue de Chanel or Sauvage and things like that, because this is basically the polar opposite of that. In the dry down is where this gets full on funky. You've got civet, moss, honey, leather. It gets like full on animalic, baby. It smells kind of like something that your body would excrete. Uh, whether that's positive or negative, is how you wear it. Uh, it can come across manly, sexy, manly, sexy, and manly. Some people compare this to urinal cakes that have been pissed on all day long. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd go that far. To me, it's kind of like a dirty barbershop smell. Like if you've smelled old school OG barbershop smells, and you add a little bit of animalic funk in there, that's basically what you're gonna be getting with Koros. I don't think it's a negative thing, I actually like the way it smells, but you can see how that would turn some people off. The opening of this is different, and that could scare some people off that might like the dry down, and then the dry down on this is different than most scents that might scare off people that like the opening. Uh, but if you do get this and give it a try, you've got to leave it on for the entirety of the fragrance so you can figure out for yourself if this is something that you can rock. It's not something that you spray on and then rinse off and you know exactly how it's going to smell because this does develop. And this has beast longevity. It lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. Even though this is the reformulated version, it still performs like a beast. Uh, I had a sample of the vintage and it was ridiculous and if I ever get a full bottle of that I'll do a review on that one too. But the reformulation still outperforms almost everything on the market that you can get in this price range. Koros is as iconic today as it was when it was released. This is the epitome of a love it or hate it fragrance. If you look this up online, you'll see all kinds of people talking about how fantastic it is, singing its praises, saying it's amazing, how unique it is. You'll have just as many people saying that it smells like a pissed on urinal cake that they had to scrub off as soon as they sprayed it on. So ultimately, you're going to have to smell it for yourself and make up your own mind. Personally, I really like it, but some people might think that I smell horrifically terrible when I spray this on. This one has been out for 35 years. There's a reason it's been out for 35 years, because it's iconic. It's never going anywhere. If they discontinue Koros, there'll be riots in the streets. Or more realistically, people will just start selling their bottles for more money. But either way, there's a reason it's been out for 35 years. 
You have to check it out yourself to make up your own mind, but it gets my seal of approval. So until next time, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.